Okay, so tell me if this happens to you. You walk into that space in your house that drives you crazy and you think, I gotta do something about this. Well, for me, when I walk in my kitchen, my pantry gives me that feeling. I gotta do something about it. So in today's video, we are tackling this pantry. We're gonna paint it, put some new stained shelves in there, and guess what? We're gonna build hidden storage. That's right, we're gonna hide food from the kids. Because if you have three boys, you know they like to eat. Stick with me, because we're gonna do this project right now. So you can see we had a lot of junk in this pantry, most of which was not even food. Like why did we have a slingshot in our pantry with our food? Anyway, this is what it looked like when we were done. You can see that the shelves were in bad condition. They were the original shelves from when we moved in six years ago, almost seven. And they were just particle board covered in contact paper. Exciting. <gasps> First thing we do is vacuum. Yes, I feel dirty now. Oh. I had some semi-gloss paint left over from another project, so no cost there. So the closet is coming together. We have two coats of fresh white paint. There's paint all over me, and I can't believe that I didn't have my painting clothes on before I got started. So now that we're gonna let this dry, we're gonna go out to the garage and start preparing the boards that's going to make up the shelves. So let's go. <gasps> So while the paint is drying inside, we can go ahead and sand down the edges of these boards. And unfortunately, we do not have a biscuit joiner which would allow us to join these two boards together. So we're gonna have to glue them and hope that that's enough. But I think it'll be okay because these boards are gonna be supported by the sides of the boards in the closet. So we're just gonna glue them, clamp them, and then sand them smooth so that there's no noticeable joint there and then we'll stain them and we're going to put some pre-stain down can i help it you are you are going to put the pre-stain down on the board so basically what pre-stain does is that it creates a nice level surface so when we put some stain on it doesn't get all blotchy okay we don't want any blotches now let's not pick that up because this is watery it looks kind of watery Ooh, it looks like rye <laughs> It does look like wine. <laughs> Out of the mouth of babes, right? So he was actually pretty helpful in getting the pre-stain onto the wood. We didn't want it blotchy. And it was also a good time to teach him about DIY. I waited about five to 15 minutes, wiped off the pre-stain, and then I used some espresso. I just had this on hand so I didn't have to buy it and did a coat and it looks pretty good. Wiped it off and then flipped it over and did the other side. And there's my new pantry. Guys, I absolutely love how it turned out, but this is what I wanna point out to you. Not only do we have new shelves, but we have hidden storage. It is a food can organizer, but when you lift it up, there's a place to hide all your goods, you know, all the candy and the snacks you wanna hide from your kids. So let me show you exactly how I made this. So for this project, I used one by four pine boards and I believe I cut them to be about 19 inches. So I started with five boards, I cut two sides, I cut a back, and I don't have it pictured here, but I do have some sides and a bottom. Get some materials, you're gonna need a piano hinge. And uh, here's what I did first. So I took two of the boards, put some glue on one edge, created a 90 degree angle. And basically that's what I did with all five of the boards. I just created this stair step so that it looked like a food can organizer so that I could stack the cans and you know, I'd be able to see the cans in the back and the cans in the front. Uh, I really relied on glue, brad nails in the size of one and a quarter and clamps. And as you can see here, I'm using the edge of the table to keep maneuvering the food can organizer back and forth, trying to create this stair step with glue and nails and clamps and it was pretty easy actually. The only thing I had to do was just cut the boards to size. And I used some of these clamps here, or not clamps, I used some of these squares here because I wanted to make sure that the boards lined up as perfectly as possible. 
I didn't want any of the stair steps to be off. You know, I wanted them to be 90 degrees. And I really relied on my brad nailer because that was the easiest way for me to join the boards together. You also wanna make sure that you have a wet towel, something to, to wipe the glue. I was gonna be staining this, so I wanted to make sure that you know any extra glue that would get on the wood would be wiped off. Otherwise, your stain would not set. So as you see here, I'm just gluing the final pieces, creating this stair step, and this is what it should look like when you're done. That should be five boards. The next thing I did was clamped it down to my work table. So I took a measurement and I believe it came out to be, what is that, six and five sixteenths? <laughs> Some crazy, crazy measurement. And the piano hinge was gonna go on the back. This is just a piece of scrap wood, but I wanted to cut out a piece that would basically support the back, but I would be able to lift up that front. So using the screws that were in the uh, piano hinge, I used my, my drill, secured it, and what you'll see uh, here is just me testing it out to see if, okay, if I lift it up, am I gonna be able to have some sort of storage underneath? So to make the sides, I laid the organizer on its side, traced it out, and cut it with my jigsaw. And this is exactly what it looked like. And all I needed was a little bit of glue and some of my bride nails. And that way I could secure the sides to the back. And I did that for both sides. And then also put another piece in the front because that was going to help to create that little storage container underneath. I did cut out a bottom piece and again, I glued that and used brad nails. And that's how I was able to create the entire contraption. And I absolutely loved it. Guys, I am super excited. I have made hidden storage that can hold cans. Ah! And when you lift it up, hidden storage. We need a little bit of oil for this hinge, but you know what? It looks really good. So let's go inside and check it out and see if it fits. So for the final steps, I did some sanding. I used pre-stain. I used the same espresso stain that I used on the pantry shelf, so it looks like one cohesive unit. And I still need to go back and put a nice top coat once everything dries, but I absolutely love it. And we have hidden storage. So as I was doing my closing, guess what happened? So there you have it guys, my pantry makeover. And I have to admit it looks good. And we have hidden storage. Now I can't lie, I actually told the kids about it because I was so excited about it. But anyway, if you like this project, if you like this pantry, give it a thumbs up. As my five-year-old said, smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to Thrift Diving. Make a cameo, come on. Come on. No, come on. Find out. You're not in it. Go and what check. did you do? Go and check. I won't see it until I review it. Review it, check it right now. Then go back out there. I already did. Just stop it. I'm not going to be using that one because I stopped. You didn't stop. I still recorded. I still recorded, but I'm saying I'm not going to use yeah, that one because I messed it. up. I was in it. I was in it. Come over. <laughs> Baby, focus on your work. I'm all right, guys, so that is it. That is my pantry makeover. And I have to admit, it looks so much better than what it did before. And we have hidden storage. So if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to go back to thriftdiving.com to get all the information about the materials and the step-by-step. -step. And be sure to subscribe because I love new subscribers. So I'll see you next project. In case you were wondering, I had no idea that he was standing behind me making these faces. If you knew him, you would know how crazy that is because he never makes an appearance on my videos. Anyway, we have an amazing new pantry and I absolutely love it. And we have hidden storage. So be sure to keep watching, subscribe so you don't miss the next video and I'll see you at thriftdiving.com.